Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Fabiano Caruana and Veselin Topalov. This game was played in St. Louis in 2014. Fabiano Caruana had white pieces and he started with e4. Topalov played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, e6, d4. C takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. Knight to c6. Knight to c3. And Topalo played a6. Knight takes knight on c6. B takes on c6. And Caruana played bishop to d3. This is the most played move in this position. Second one is e5. So we have bishop to d3. d5. Caruana castled kingside, knight to f6, and Caruana played rook to e1, preparing e5, bishop to e7, taking on e4 is not better for black. So we have bishop to e7, e5, knight to d7, white to move. Caruana played queen to g4, attacking the pawn on g7 and preventing castling. King to f8. If black would castle, then bishop to h6, threatening checkmate, and after g6, bishop takes rook. So we have king to f8. It is white to move. Bishop to d2 is the most often played move in this position. Caruana played knight to a4. This move has been seen before. White intends to play c4. Queen to a5, attacking the rook on e1, and the knight on a4. The knight is defended at the moment. But you will see Topalov's idea soon. Rook to e2. h5 attacking the queen. White queen must stay on the fourth rank to defend the knight. Queen to f4. g5. Attacking the queen again. And what now? White queen can no longer stay on the fourth rank. What would you do if you had white pieces? Caruana played bishop to d2. This is the only good move for white. Queen to c7. Alternative was pawn takes queen and then bishop takes queen on a5. White is better. So we have queen to c7. Queen to g3. h4 attacking the queen again. Queen to g4 and pawn on e5 is only defended once now, attacked twice. Should black capture the pawn with knight or not? Would you? Topalo played rook to g8. Why not knight takes on e5? How would you continue now? So this is how Caruana would continue. Rook takes knight. Queen takes rook and then bishop to c3, attacking the queen and extraing the rook on h8. Okay, so we have rook to g8. Rook from a to e1 and the pawn is defended now. c5, threatening c4. c4, d takes on c4. Bishop takes on c4. Bishop to b7. Why to move? Caruana played h3. Can't move from Caruana preventing black from playing h3. Rook to d8. Bishop to c3. Knight to b8. The idea is to plant the knight on d4, so knight to c6 and then knight to d4. Rook 
to e3 rook lift an important move in caruana's plan you will see what the plan is knight to c6 white move what would you do in this position if you had white pieces this is the most interesting position of the game please pause the video and try to find Caruana's next move what did you find? I was thinking about this position and I thought that rook to f3 would be the best move but Caruana played an incredible peace sacrifice bishop takes on e6 did you see this one coming? Topalov saw this move and thought that it will not work for white game continued pawn takes bishop rook to f3 and now first Topalov thought that he would play king to g7 in this position but he played king to e8 what did he see? this is what he saw if king goes to g7 then queen to h5 threatening check and check mate he saw this move but then he saw the winning move for white and that's why he didn't play king to g7 what is the winning move for white in this position? the winning move is rook to f6 if bishop takes rook then pawn takes bishop check rook takes on f6 rook takes on e6 and white is winning or if rook takes then pawn takes rook bishop takes queen takes on g5 check white is winning in this variation too so Topalo had to play king to e8 queen takes pawn on e6 for a sacrificed piece white has two pawns and a deadly attack the rook is under attack rook to g7 queen to h6 attacking the rook again knight to d4 threatening knight takes rook check where to move the rook what would you do Caruana didn't move the rook he played e6 what a brilliant move knight takes rook check pawn takes knight bishop to f8 queen to h5 check king to e7 white play the move in black resigned what is the move? this is what Caruana played and Topalo resigned in view of this continuation bishop takes bishop then queen to f7 check king to d6 and now not rook to d1 check but e7 attacking the rook and if rook moves for example then there is checkmate on e6 and if the file is blocked with the bishop then pawn takes rook check queen takes queen queen takes on b7 and there is no defense for example queen to c7 queen takes queen king takes queen and now the obvious what is the obvious no joking this time this is a serious game <laughs> rook takes on e5 what an incredible attack what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video I wish you good luck with your King content and bye for now.